In this video, we're going to go through some taping applications for TMJ pain and dysfunction. The references for some of these techniques will be in the description below the video, and I'll explain why we're using some of the other techniques to help with the condition as well. Once you have a go at trying one or all of these, please leave a comment below if you found them helpful, and hit the like button as well if you found this video useful for your TMJ problems. So I have my patient here who actually has some TMJ issues. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the tape and then get some feedback later on in the day from whether or not it's helping. Number one, the first one, and I'll put the references below the video for the research that looked at this type of application, simply uses a small piece of tape which goes directly over the TMJ region. So you've got to cut the tape in order to fit just in front of the ear there without pulling on too many hairs. Okay, pop that down and then peel the tape away and apply that with a light stretch down over the cheek and I've split the tape here so that it's a little bit more comfortable and we can customize it a bit just by bringing it lower down over the mandible region like so. Secure that tape in place and that is the first one where I've seen a couple of research studies looking at this application and reporting that it was helpful for the study group of patients. Now we're going to move on from that because TMJ issues are not always related to the TMJ area directly. They can have, um, they can be influenced by other parts of the body, in particular tension around the neck. So the next one we're going to do is for the sternocleidomastoid for the SCM. So we're going to go ahead and get our patient to turn the head and stretch back a little bit into extension, just as far as is comfortable, allowing us then to apply the tape over the SCM region. And I've cut the tape here to be nice and thin, so it's not too uncomfortable. I'll start that just around the back of the ear and then track that down over the SCM region, heading towards the sternum like so. And that goes on without any stretch. The patient is stretched, the tape is not stretched. So that's the second one. And again, this was noted in a research study. I'll put the reference in the description below the video. Now, moving on from that, if neck tension can contribute to TMJ dysfunction and jaw tension, then it makes sense to do some taping for any evident neck tension. So we're gonna come down now onto the upper trapezius. We've got our patient to stretch across there a little bit forward into flexion. So we're stretching this upper trapezius region. We'll then take some tape. This is five centimeters in width. And I've cut that to go over the upper trapezius. I'll start on the base of the neck and then stick the tape down without any stretch down over the upper trapezius. And of course, we don't want to stick that to the clothing, so we can just run that down like so. There we are, rub to stick. And because we stretch the patient and not the tape, we're hoping that this tape will encourage a bit of relaxation and a feeling of offload for this part. Of course, we can do the other side as well to try and reduce overall neck tension, but to keep this video brief, we'll stick to just that side. Now, the final thing I want to show is if neck tension contributes to jaw tension, then the question is what contributes to neck tension? Well, the position of the thoracic spine can make a difference. If the thoracic spine is too curved, too kyphotic, then we have this forward head posture, if you could just demonstrate that for us. So with a forward head posture by an excessively curved thoracic spine, we're gonna probably end up with unnecessary neck tension. If we can encourage our patient to stand with less curvature, less kyphosis and a straighter spine, it brings the head back on top of the body and offers a better position to reduce neck pain. All right, there's many ways to do posture taping, but for the purpose of this video, we'll show you a nice simple one. Turning around, so starting at the base of the neck there, and then stretching the tape down over the upper back. We need a little bit of stretch to give some extra feedback through the skin. And we'll stick that down like so. Just, there we are, you can see it there. Rub to stick. Now, if the patient does start to curve and slump, the tape will give a gentle pull on the skin and remind them to have a better habit of holding themselves up a bit more upright, not causing unnecessary neck tension 
and of course that can contribute to jaw tension as well. Direct taping, indirect taping, offload of neck tension and more awareness of posture in order to avoid the causes of neck tension. Have a go at those techniques. Please drop a comment to let us know how you got on. And if you find them helpful, hit the like button. If you think these could help somebody that you know, please share this video with them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.